Hi, I'm Joel Mahoney with Santa Fe Mountain Sports and I'm here today to talk about carving turns on the new shaped skis. The biggest challenge in learning how to carve turns is controlling your speed so you don't fall back into old habits. One way to do this is to take the skis onto a very flat slope like the one you see here and slowly pressure each ski until you feel the turning radius that the skis naturally want to make. As you get more comfortable on the skis, you can work your way up to steeper and steeper terrain, which will require more hip and knee angulation in order for you to control your own speed. Another way is to create moon turns where you pressure the skis down and across a moderately pitched slope so they actually carry you up the hill as you finish the turn on the other side. This is a great way to put hip angulation into your turns without having to worry about the speed you'd generate if you were linking turns together. Once you get comfortable with that technique, then you can begin linking turns together by taking a long traverse across the fall line before the somewhat awkward step of letting your upper body actually fall across your skis and down the hill, which is how you initiate a new turn. When you're ready to put it all together, all that's left is to tighten the transition between turns and add more hip, knee, and even ankle angulation to control your speed as you carve one turn into the next.